Our next guest has shared the stage with stars with people like Janelle Monet, Nick Jonas, Deborah Cox, Kirk Franklin, Erica Badu, Prince, and a whole lot more. His work is now in theaters in the film Migration. Uh, his base work also featured on the movie Still, a Michael J. Fox movie, which recently won an Emmy for Outstanding Music Composition. We're delighted to have Brandon Gilliard in studio with us this morning to talk about his career. Brandon, always great to see you. You too, Yeah, yeah It was nice to hear a little bit of your bass playing there. Of, of course, there's so much work out there, so many videos out there of you playing, but uh, congratulations on all your success. You. Um, and let's start by talking about you have a heavy hitter as a mentor, uh, somebody, some person that people may know. <laughs> yeah, I, I do, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, Vernon White of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, he's he's been my mentor for several several years now. Uh, we met back in, I think it was 2013. We were uh, we were on a show together. Um, there was a show where you know they had like three um, three different bands on it. Yeah. Um, it was Janelle Monae, Tower Power, and Earth, Wind, and Fire. And uh, so like, you know, I got to meet Vernon at night. Um, he was super, super, just super nice guy. I was, I was nervous as everything when I met him, but uh, yeah, he, you know, he actually, you know, he gave me his phone number. He said, "Hey, keep in touch." And, you know, it's been over ten years now, and we, you know, we, we probably talk once every, every once a week or something like That's that. That's big. I'm, I'm sure he knew that you were in the room doing, like, playing with these big artists. He knew that you had some chops on you, so he knew that you could do, do the work. And being able to keep into uh, contact is a really a big thing. Yeah. From that, of course, you've done so much big work. Uh, you've done Janelle Monet, you toured with her, Ashley Simpson. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the different artists that you play with. I, I was watching a video about you talking about an interaction with Prince. Mm -hmm. So some big names. You've been all over uh, mm -hmm. playing music. Yeah, I, I have, thankfully. Um, you know, as a side man, you know, I, I work with a lot of different artists. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's something that, um, you know, that makes the job interesting. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you never know who's going to call next. Right, right. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I got a call from uh, Lecrae, uh -huh. uh, the, the, the rapper Lecrae. Christian, yeah. Right. He, um, he was doing uh, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, what, what is it? The uh, Jimmy Fallon show? Yeah, the Jimmy Fallon show. Is it yeah. Jimmy Fallon? Oh, here, I don't remember. <laughs> but the Jimmy Fallon show, and um, I played with Lecrae and, and Layla Hathaway. Now, the thing was, I had never met or played with either one of them before, but their music director knew me and knew I could do the job. So, you know, basically I, I walked it, you know, they flew me to New York, I walked into the studio, I shook hands with everybody, and we played the show. And that's, that's the incredible part of it, about being, like you say, the side man. You have to be the person that can go in, get the music, read it, and be able to, to be ready to go to the Jimmy Fallon show just like that. Right. And that's what's, that's what's incredible, too. Name some of the other big artists that, you, that you've played with. Um, you've, just, you've been touring with Ashley Simpson. And yeah, Ashley Simpson um, and uh, Evan Ross. Evan Ross is uh, Diana Ross's son. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, Ashley, you know, I, I remember Ashley when, when she first came out um, years ago. And then um, I had the opportunity to actually tour with, with, uh, with Ashley in 2000, 2019, right? We did a U.S. tour. Um, you know, it was great because I, you know, I already knew all of her music. Uh -huh. You know, it was, it was just a, you know, all around good experience. Um, Verdine was actually, Verdine produced their last album. Okay. So, so Verdine called, yeah, Verdine called me himself and said, hey, Brandon, you know, I, I want you to do this tour. And I said, yes, sir. <laughs> and it's crazy that people can go in theaters now with migration and hear, and they may not even, they won't know that they're hearing you, but you're on that, uh, on that, on that soundtrack, which is right. You know, well, if they wait, you know, they wait to the credits, they'll see my name at, at the very <laughs> end. <laughs> um, you know, uh, that movie was uh, the, the composer for that movie. His name is John Powell. Um, he's uh, he's done a lot of uh, movies over the years. He's done, uh, I think, he has like maybe seventy major films under his belt. Um, I think he did some of the Born I've been. Born. One identity yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he did one of the Star Wars movies. Um, I have done with uh, with John. I I, I played uh, so migration, uh, the Michael J. Fox yeah, uh, documentary, um, and then um, also did Rio Two and um, Ferdinand with him. I mean, look at that. So all these t TV shows that you're watching. You may be hearing the music of a, or the playing of a local guy, which is fantastic. And we're looking at some of the different celebrities that you work with. There's so many people, but they can go to your website. What does this month mean for you, Black History Month that we celebrate? What does that mean for you? I know it's a, it's a lot to kind of take on and think about. You've, um, you know, you worked at uh, Dr. King's church. Yes. yes. Um, so you have a different perspective of what mm -hmm. this month means for a lot of folks. Right. Yeah. I, I worked at Dr. King's church uh, in Atlanta, a historic Ebenezer. Um, well, you know, it was his home church. Yeah. Um, I worked there for 13 years. Um, well, actually, up until pretty recently. Um, Black History Month to me, it, it, it just means um, 
it, it, it's, it's a nice thing because you know, it's an opportunity for people to see that, hey, we're out here, we're doing things, you know, and you know, maybe you know, kind of shine a, a spotlight on some things that maybe, you know, don't get a spotlight. Like, you know? here's something you didn't know, here's some, right. some ways yeah. that black people are, are doing the thing. Right. And they can always go to your website if they want to reach out and read more on your bio, more than we can do on a segment here. You can go to mybassplayer.com, and hey, if you're looking for a bass player, you can, you can foot the bill, you can afford Brandon, then give him a call. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate right. you being here for, with right. us. Thank we you. appreciate you. Right. We're gonna take a short little break. More celebrating black history coming up next.